Hi Gemini, how's it going? So welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a super quick general reading for your sign. Take anything that resonates, Gemini, and disregard the rest. Also, hope you're feeling blessed and highly favoured, wherever you are in the world. And life is um, bringing you a lot of positivity or hope. Clear and accurate messages for the Gemini Collective. What can you tell me at this time? Seven of Wands. What else for Gemini? The Six of Wands. The Knight of Wands. The High Priestess. What else, please, for Gemini? It's too many, Spirit. Two more, please, if possible. The Ten of Coins. One more, please, for Gemini. The Nine of Coins. Sorry, the Nine of Cups, even. And the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck for Gemini, we've got the Seven of Cups. Okay. Some of you are feeling a little bit temperamental at this time. You seem to be blowing hot and cold. I'll pull some more cards to clarify why this is coming out for you. Some of you are trying to self-indulge, focus on you, not worry about what else is taking place around you in your external environment. There's a real emphasis on putting your needs first, putting yourself first or needing to, Gemini. Right, let's get you some clarity. Some of you are experiencing some heart pains, and I say heart pains not from a health condition perspective, but more from a heartache. There seems to be some sort of grief in your heart space that you're trying to heal from, Gemini. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, some of you feel like you are experiencing burdens and a period of hardship at this time. Some of you your intuition is telling you that it's time to move or move on. Either move on from a situation that's been quite painful. For some of you, it's a physical move. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Gemini? Seven of Wands is clarified by the Four of Swords here. You are blocking people off or blocking people out at this time, Gemini, is what I feel. You could be quite distant, guarded even, of yourself. You're in a period of repose. It feels like you're in a waiting stage where you are keeping off to yourself for the most part and doing a lot of introspection. What's this energy, please, for Gemini? Yeah, you've detached. That's exactly what it is. Six of Swords, mentally, you could have shifted your perspective. You don't seem to be allowing a lot of people in your circle or in your inner circle. You are trying to move away from what feels like has been a very challenging time for you. You are moving into more calmer waters where things are less challenging. Yes, but there's a real defensive energy coming out, exuding, where you don't want to be bothered by others. I'm getting boundaries. Boundaries are strong right now. You seem to be in a detached mode. What else for the situation for Gemini? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. With the Nine of Pentacles, you are deciding that you want to do things on your own. Nine of Pentacles energy. You could be going your separate ways from different energies at this time, Gemini. You seem to be wanting to get rewards with this Nine of Pentacles energy on your own. You seem to work best on your own is how you're also perceiving things. Nine of Pentacles energy. Focusing on being self-sufficient at this time, not needing anybody. 
Why is the Six of Wands here for Gemini? Just as I said that, you've got the Six of Wands with the Hermit. There's a real introspective energy, which is suggesting that you want success, happiness, recognition, but you seem to be off to yourself. Or maybe you feel like you are at your best and at your most wise, most, um, Mm. most intelligent, most knowledgeable, when you are off to yourself, that's when you may feel that you are at your best. That will be for some of you here. What else, please, for Gemini? With the magician, and you kind of want it to come out in the struggle position, so I'm going to take it as such. I feel you are trying to manifest successful situations and results for yourself and you may feel a little bit shaky with how things are turning out or possible outcomes but you have inner skills you have talents and abilities which will make you a success in your own right gemini why is the nine knight of wands here please knight of wands for gemini knight of wands is clarified by the queen of pentacles some of you could be feeling a bit indifferent when it comes to career matters or you could be feeling indifferent when it comes to a queen of pentacles a taurus virgo capricorn in particular doesn't have to be this could also be a wife energy What's, what else for the situation please with the um, knight of pentacles here there's someone that you have been trying to appease this is not everyone's message but for a proportion of the collective it feels like there's someone that you have been trying to serve here with this knight of pentacles energy be of service to support give some sort of um there's a duty you could be yeah it feels like you could be a masculine a male here and you could try to do a lot for a queen of pentacles which you feel may be in vain or you aren't sure whether this situation is for you anymore there's something that's happening either you're blowing hot and cold to this situation or this person is towards you it could be this queen of pentacles that is not wanting to commit here with this knight of pentacles why is the high priestess here please the gemini your intuition is telling you to work on mastering some form of craft to practice something at this time Gemini is what I'm picking up. You're coming up as hard working, following your intuition, trying to get better at something, routinely doing it. I'm hearing habitual so that you can potentially reap some sort of reward. What else, please? Page of Swords. You could be studying again, Gemini, gathering some sort of facts or research when it comes to a new, a new role or a particular type of line of work. You're definitely studying or trying to gather some facts around something. There's a lot of inspection taking place. You're following your intuition, whatever it is. Why is the ten of coins here, please? Some of you, it's spiritual work. Some of you have got um, curiosity for the paranormal here, for es esoteric things, divination. Your, your curiosity could be leading you towards a career yeah that's related to divination in some way shape or form because you see this to be quite lucrative ten of coins for some of you what else please habit dependency be mindful of members of your family is also a message that i'm picking up here gemini that could be codependent on you that could use you for your resources is what i'm picking up for some i have to keep it real that's what i that's what i'm getting there's people that are dependent on you for your money ten of pen, ten of um, pentacles here what else please yeah i don't know if you've just recently got a new job gemini or you're thinking of getting a new job and there's going to be money here to be mindful with regards to who you share your your wealth with is what i will say your abundance 
because there seems to be some people that are looking for a handout. Why is the Nine of Cups here, please? Nine of Cups with the Four of Cups. You're not yourself. Yeah, you've had some endings. I've just split the deck on the Ten of Pentacles as well. You're not in your normal energy at this time. It feels very low key. I'll be honest, that's how I'm feeling doing your reading. There's a, a sense of demotivation. And I feel like you, with the Four of Cups here, you're needing to get back to these nine. You've got another five cups to feel at your best here. I mean, Ten of Cups would be completion, but Nine of Cups is self-fulfillment, Gemini. You seem to be lacking five cups emotionally, so there's a sense of you needing to really try and perk yourself up. Some of you, it could be things like um, going out in nature, meditating, exercise, Gemini, especially if you're feeling low emotionally. There's a need to do things that feel good things, I'm getting, that make you feel... Uh, Raise your vibration, lift your energy levels, yeah? Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Eight of Wands with the Decadent. What else, please? Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, definitely painful endings that you're trying to be brave about and come back from is what I'm picking up here. Yeah. Some of you are definitely... It's, it's like a... Yeah, a real bravery after chapters have closed for you. Take it easy. Take it easy, but don't... And feel the emotion is what I feel to say, but don't live there. Don't live in, in what feels like a defeatist or an emotionally, um, yeah, defeated energy. Now we, yeah, we all go through... We all go through it without preaching, <laughs> but you need to, I'd encourage you, not you need to, we all have our own free will, but I'd encourage you to try and do a little bit each day that brings you back towards your nine of cups. That's how I'm going to leave that for you. I feel that's the best place to leave it. Let me pull you an advice card and a card of the day. What does Gemini need to know? You've got two cards expectation don't seek anyone's approval the number 12 could be significant here you've also got 30 castle it's time for healing not war you're definitely healing yourself from what feels like a really challenging time be easy with yourself be patient with yourself as well take the time to heal like i said feel the emotions just don't live there Okay, and let's get you a card of the day for Gemini, please. <laughs> Make every day a masterpiece. So I'm going to leave that there for you, Gemini. If it's resonated in any way, shape or form, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you back in another video. Namaste.